morning good morning everybody i am in inverness again yay i was going to try and get to a place called doorknock but it's just i think it's going to prove impossible the buses just don't go at the right times and they don't get back at the right times so unfortunately i think i'm going to knock that one on the head so i'm going to go into town and go to the tourist information and see if there's a different tour that i could do something that i haven't done already i'm going to go down for breakfast now i get really anxious about going and eating breakfast on my own eating any meal on my own in in a hotel or restaurant so this is like a you know <laughs> brave claire <laughs> i know it sounds really pathetic but it's just a bit daunting you know so i'm trying to be brave because i'm hungry <laughs> I'm back from breakfast and actually I wasn't alone so that was quite nice so we had a nice little chat. Plans for today have changed somewhat. Uh, currently the time is 5 to 11 so it's got a bit later. I was thinking about going into town and going to the um, tourist information and finding a, a tour of some description like a boat tour or whatever but I need to walk. I haven't done enough exercise recently and I really, really need to walk. So what I'm going to do is walk along the River Ness. We're going to go to the Botanical Gardens and we're going to go to the Seven Locks, which is Seven Locks <laughs> on a canal, the Caledonian Canal. So we're going to go there and we're going to look at the locks and we're going to go to the Botanical Gardens, which is free. I think you can put in a donation and I think there's a nice cafe there as well. If I've got time, I might also walk into town, but it's completely the opposite direction. But we'll see how it goes. That's it really. I'm just going to get outside, get fresh air and walk. I've got a book to read. If I go to a cafe, I'm reading this at the moment. I'm also listening to an audible book called Where the Crawdads Sing, which is really, really good. But I'm also reading this. It's called You Are a Badass, or You Are a Badass. How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. Hmm. Anyway, open mind, open mind. So I've started reading this. I need some oomph. I need some motivation in my life. I need to get a grip. If I stop anywhere, I can have a little read. I'll take you with me. We'll see if we can see something nice. I'll stop waffling and get on with the vlog. actually a real pretty cold wind so I've had to put my hat on uh, which has made quite a lot of difference amazing how much difference that makes anyway I walked down this path before but I didn't go to the botanical gardens so we're gonna go there now it'll be really nice to go into a hot house a bit of a hot up bit of a warm up yes it's the river ness hurtling past me let's see where today leads us Low the sun is today. It's really low. You see that there. There it is. It's a low sun. It feels like it's already sort of sunset. It's not because it's quarter past eleven in the morning. Strange. Strange. Which makes you feel like the day's over before it's even begun. It's very strange. rugby pitches and car parks uh, but we're on the right track because there's a sign there for the cafe this bit is not massively picturesque but it's still pretty rugged I'd say or rugby rugged rugged rugby it's not quite what I was expecting but let's do it Let's see what's all about. The 
looks a bit like a garden centre. towards some water. I'm lost, as usual. That's more like it. I'm going to have a little walk down here and see what, what there is to see. Probably nothing, but it'll be a nice walk. I can plug myself into my water book. I'm still walking. Walkie, walkie, walkie. It's going to be a long walk. Let's hope that doesn't turn to rain. I must be getting close to the mouth. The boats. Lots of boats. I made it. Locked. I'm going to go and have a little look at those and then head back that away. I don't know if you can see behind me. That's Inverness City back there castle in the distance so we're gonna walk back there soon it's just so nice to get some proper fresh air and I'm listening to my book where the crawdads sing ah, it's very good You know, poodle, as usual, poodling, spin my life, poodling. I'm still walking. There seems to be a bed and breakfast road down here. So I'm on Grieg Street now, which is where the Wibbly Wobbly Bridge was that I went on last time I was here. It's just in front of me, in front of a church. So back in Inverness Centre. So that was good, that was a bit of a shortcut back. Only walk through North North, so let's keep walking. Here we go again. There was a geocache on this bridge, I seem to remember. Uh, let's see if we can find it again. So I've just come across the oldest house in Inverness. It's called Abataf. Abataf House. So I'll show it to you. It's very keen. I think it's a little museum now, but it looks very shut.
white. So, and I'd seen Loch Ness, I'd seen Loch Ness before, so, so it's all good. So I'll, uh, I'll show you when I get back. It's getting a little nippy now. Nippy and dog. Little class up there. So I'll speak to you when I'm back in the hotel room. Gasping. I'm back. Yay! I'm back in my hotel room. Oh, my legs. I did 5.9 miles. Actually, I did more than that because I only, I stopped the Strava when I got into Inverness city centre because there's no point, you know, doing all that around the shops. So I reckon I probably did another mile walking around the shop. So I'm going to say 6.9 mile walk. I'm pleased with that. So without further ado, let's look at what I bought. A random selection of goods, but fairly interesting, I think fairly interesting. So I was looking for some vegetarian cookbooks and there was one that I wanted to get which was a vegan one pound meal recipe book. So I went into Waterstones. I could spend hours in Waterstones. I've got this thing at the moment about reading. I'm, I'm really getting into it whether it's listening to it on Audible or reading a pop book book. So I've been buying books. I mean it's just crazy. So the other day when I had my MOT uh, I bought, I think I bought four or five books in the charity shop and it, they were, I think they were a pound each and they were really good ones. I'll show you on another video. They were really good, you know, up to date books. I've just bought three more, <laughs> three more books. Oh, I was in Waterstones and I was looking at the vegetarian books and the one that I wanted, it's 16 and I thought, no, I'd look online, might be able to get it cheaper. But I went into the works and look, ta-ta! Six quid, 10 pounds off, six quid. I didn't particularly want a vegan cookbook, but um, I've looked at some of the recipes and I think they're really good. They're really nice, like everyday, you know, you could make for dinner recipes. And I'm assuming that each recipe you can make for a pound. Let's see, I mean, I don't think you can actually. <laughs> but pretty, pretty much, you know, it's not gonna break the bank. So this one, for example, is pakora curry. Rice, water, carrot, spring onions, garlic, curry powder, plain flour, coconut milk, red onion, chickpea flour, olive oil, vegetable oil, salt and pepper. That's not going to cost a fortune, is it? I really like the look of this book. Not that I'm going vegan, I'm not. But, you know. And the other book that I want to buy is the, is it Joe Wicks? Joe Wick, the, the guy who's really fit and he does all these cookbooks. He does a vegetarian one as well. I was looking at in Waterstones and it's really good. Um, and I think they're meals you can cook in 15 minutes. So I, but I think that was another 16 pounds. So I'm gonna look online and see if I can get it cheaper. The other three books that I bought in the works, fiction, there was a three for five pounds deal in the works. Crazy, so that it's just crazy. They're two pounds each anyway. And this should be 7.99, anyway. I don't know how they do it, but it's brilliant if you like reading. So the Au Pair, it's a thrilling mystery of dark family secrets. Then we have Lake Child, deceit, abduction, murder, how far would you go for your family? Bit of a theme here. <laughs> and this one, this is, this is a, a bit of a curveball. I'm not sure about this one. This could be really weird slash harrowing slash difficult to read. It's called The Natural Way of Things. It says The Handmaid's Tale for Our Age. Now I love The Handmaid's Tale. So I thought I'm gonna give this a go, but this is really weird. So it says two women awaken from a drugged sleep to find themselves imprisoned in a broken down property in the middle of a desert. Strangers to each other, they have no idea they came to be there with eight other girls. Their heads shaved, guarded by two inept yet vicious jailers. Doing hard labour under a sweltering sun, the prisoners soon learn what links them. In each girl's past is a sexual scandal with a powerful man. They pray for rescue, but as the hours turn into days and the days into weeks and months, it becomes clear only the girls can rescue themselves. Could be scary to read, but I'm going to read it. The supper I got, this is so uninteresting. I got um, three for seven pounds in Marks and Spencers. I got marinated Honduran king prawns. I've got calamari rings. I've got 
mini cheese and onion muffins. These are to take home with me because I thought they sounded really, really nice and I hadn't seen them before. They're mushroom steamed buns. I love these steamed buns anyway, but they normally have pork in them um, because I'm doing meat free. I'm doing pescatarian January. Um, wanted to try those. I got myself coconut water because I love coconut water. And I got myself some of these mandarin orange pancakes. Take home with me because they look really nice. Bricky, bricky, bricky. Oh yes, I did buy some more stuff. Okay. Went into Hotel Chocolat only because I could see they had a little sale on. Dangerous, dangerous. Two of these, Christmas mess, eaten mess with a festive makeover. Yum, 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 yum. Two of them, they're supposed to be 3 99 each. They were £1.18 each. And this little bargain, this is like a Christmas chocolate selection festive treats this was meant to be oh I can't remember what it was meant to be I think it's about eight pounds two pounds forty <laughs> I'm not going to eat these all tonight might have a couple went into H&M and I really like this it's like a khaki stripy t-shirt and it is from their conscious range 95% organic cotton 3 99 so I have got some, I've got bargains really, haven't I? I mean, I really have got bargains. Uh, so that's it. I like it a lot. I shall wear it in the summer. It's really soft. It's lovely. Didn't try it on. Couldn't be bothered. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. It's a t-shirt. Size medium. Last bargain. This is a bargain. I went into Primark on the way back to the hotel. I don't normally go into Primark at all. I don't know why I went in. Something just called me in. It just said come in and have a little look so I did and I ended up with this I've been looking for a lightweight coat to take away with me when I go away on little weekends away and work trips and what have you the coat that I wear this one that I've been wearing today the beige one has had it it's um I've had it for a good few years and I got that one from TK Maxx it's really not in a good state so I've been looking for something similar good price you know I saw this in Primark. It was a size small, so I thought there's not a chance it's going to fit, but I tried it on anyway, and it fitted. Okay, so it's a long, black, puffery type, lightweight puffery type coat. Long, goes past your bum, just like my other one. Does it still have the price on? Did you take it off? I think you took it off. £10. I think I did pretty well. T-shirt for £3.99, coat for £10, books for £5 for the three. £10 off that one. Massive reduction on the chocolates. I only paid full price for my food. <laughs> for those of you who followed me during Vlogmas and saw the advent calendar and you all loved it, it was a Holland and Barron ad advent calendar worth £120 and it was £35 I think. If you want to get something really similar now, latestinbeauty.com, if you go onto their website, they're doing a beauty box, which is a Holland and Barrett vegan beauty box. It's, it's again, it's 120 pounds worth of products and it's 30 pounds for the box. So go and check it out. If you really liked what I got in my advent calendar, go onto that website and check it out. It's latestinbeauty.com. It's 30 pounds, it's three pound 95 PMP and it's only UK I'm afraid they only will send to the UK at the moment so it's not this isn't an advert or anything I'm not affiliated or anything like that I won't get anything from it I just thought I'd tell you that they've got this box and so if you like the advent calendar you might like to go and take a look at the box so my lovelies that's it I hope you enjoyed a little bit of my little walk around in Venice today my little poodle didn't get too bored I know I didn't do much but it's nice to get out and see something a bit different, isn't it? So, signing off. Speak soon. Bye-bye.